Hello and welcome to another Fortnite video, but this one's this one's actually going to be special, especially for those of you which I know I have a huge, huge amount of people that are Call of Duty fans because I came from a Call of Duty background when I started my YouTube channel. This video is going to be special in general, but especially for people that love Call of Duty or that used to love Call of Duty because in this video, we are going to be entering the legendary Call of Duty Nuketown map within Fortnite. Now, this is all possible because of two things. One, Fortnite's new creative system, which is insane. And two, John. John is pretty much the individual that made this Nuketown map. It literally looks identical. Obviously, there are some little features like text and stuff that you can put on the signs or the mannequins, but everything else, the layout, the houses, it's, it's absolutely insane. I'm going to leave John's Twitter down in the description because this guy is a creative genius. This is a masterpiece. It's literally super cool. And I cannot wait for you guys to check this out. Now, before we enter Nuketown and check it out, I'm going to give you guys a walkthrough of the map. If you want a chance to be able to go into Nuketown yourself, leave your Epic account in the comments. For those of you that leave your Epic account in the comments below, John is going to be watching the comments. He's going to be reading the comments. And he's probably going to pick about two or three of you guys. And um, you could probably go into the map and, you know, experience it yourself. Do 1v1s. You know build off like you don't necessarily have to do what i'm gonna do here you can pretty much fight like it you know if you were in a regular fortnite map but you'll be doing it in nuketown so again get in the comments man because this is it that's my island it has nothing exciting so don't even worry about it there's literally nothing there it's <laughs> i promise so uh this is it boys this is it you ready it's gonna be a little weird at first but i'm gonna show you Okay, I'm going to show you. Remember, these islands are fairly big. There is a section that is, uh, it's pretty much Nuketown. So here we go. All right, we're going to start off right here. Now check, just look at how amazing this is. Now, when you are in this island, you cannot destroy anything, okay? Got to make sure that that was not a possibility. I don't want to mess up his map. So this is one of the houses on the other side of the map. And right there would be where you get the Nuketown sign. Really quickly, I'm going to go pick up this weapon that he dropped for me here. Just so we can get this uh, this Call of Duty vibe going on. Look at that. Gold scar and everything. Okay, I got my little camo on. Dude, I'm telling you, this is insane. All right, so here we go. We're going to do a complete walkthrough. So I'm going to start right here at the end of what would normally be one of the spawn points where you can get spawn trapped or spawn trap in. You got people from here, you got people from there, from the garage, downstairs, upstairs. It doesn't matter, but you get people all over the place spawning here. So then you're gonna come around here, get these little craps, you can come around here. I don't know if there's a door here. Yup, he even added the door, man. It's a little passageway normally there. That's awesome. Then you have this little shed, which uh, cannot be opened in the real game itself. This is the garage, the famous garage. You have this side right here, which is another line of sight. Before we go there, we're going to go inside this house. And uh, obviously, there are going to be a bunch of things missing, like decorations and all that stuff. Because this is just pretty much so you guys get a gist of it. So, the great thing about this is that you have the little, little ramp to go upstairs and everything. Which, by the way, I've never seen this type of ramp. Maybe this is like a creative exclusive type of thing. Well, you have that. And then you have... <laughs> Bro... You have a balcony right here, window over there. You got the master bedroom. It is insane. A lot of people like to hide behind here. When people come, they just shoot them or put claymores right here, et cetera, et cetera. Obviously, the proportions are not going to be as tight. I know Nuketown's got a really narrow little staircase going upstairs. But again, it's that's not what matters. What matters here is literally the attention to detail. This is amazing. I hope that eventually Fortnite adds the ability to share these maps so you can just... Go on here as a community map and play with your friends on a 1v1. I do wish that they would include this in the block, which I think it's what's called now. Uh, the new Risky Reels over here, where it allows you to... Or better yet, Fortnite is going to be adding maps there, which are created from scratch like this one. But again, this is Call of Duty. It kind of contradicts the you know, competition. So I highly doubt that this map will make it there, but that'd be cool. All right, so we're going to go downstairs. We're going to go the other way now. And uh, quick side note, I, I really hope that eventually in the future these maps can be shared now keep in mind that's just like the neighbors we don't have to go over there this is nuketown right here in this block right here 
so but yeah i hope that we can share these maps publicly in the future so we can if you have people online and they're your friends you want to 1v1 whether you want to build or not it'd be really really cool i don't know if, if fortnite will ever do that but i think that's the idea here anyways if you come here to the middle you go i like how you added the tires here because remember there there was a little stair i think it was on this side or on the other side i don't remember probably both actually so you got the little tires there so you can go up the balcony as well you got the famous car that always always explodes there which is really really cool you also have the famous two vehicles in the middle of the map which that's extremely iconic for nuketown you got the bus and then you got the truck over there that's pretty cool um that's the nuketown sign again this is something that i told you before we can't really add text or anything like that but that is pretty much as good as it's gonna get really um we have the we have a clock over there pretty awesome so this vehicle right here is also another famous vehicle in which a lot of people you know head peak and they want to shoot the balconies either left or right doesn't matter yellow or blue house but this is definitely a a vehicle that's very iconic as well i mean if you think about it every single vehicle is iconic in nuketown because that's just the way it is everything about nuketown every time it gets remade it has the same thing pretty much so it is an iconic map and then you have this little passageway here on the right hand side of the yellow house which if you keep going you'll see that it is literally the same exact thing as the other side of the hotel map Dude. <laughs> i mean we're literally in the middle of a map right now that has been recreated to be like nuketown look at this and you have the other little shed here on the side you have another garage which is amazing the only thing is that we don't have vehicles here that have like a gap in the middle because remember there is a line of sight through the through the vehicles in the middle but of course fortnite doesn't have those types of vehicles so you can only do what you have here you even have this piece of stone here that it does resemble the one in the actual nuketown map which is really amazing so now if we keep going upstairs again we have another bedroom and another home which is slightly different than the other one we have the bunk beds <laughs> You have the other balcony here and um yeah then you got the bottom part of the house if you go downstairs of course it's not as wide but there you have it you have the kitchen area come out through the back as well and you can also connect to the garage here and then you come back and you're here you can also go to this side and well you have another vehicle here and you got lines of sight over here over there yellow house on top the garage the hallway or whatever the hell that is vehicles in the middle i mean guys it is literally i don't even know what to say i i literally feel like this is identical to nuketown i mean i personally couldn't have been able to do a better job myself i just i'm sorry i couldn't i i just can't do a better job than this in my opinion this map is good enough for me to be able to play with friends like even if i just want to play fortnite without building and i just kind of want to like you know play like a third person call of duty type of thing this is the perfect map and um again a huge shout out to john for letting me hop into this map and letting me record this this is absolutely absolutely insane and um i am so excited to be able to share this with you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions do you think he did a good job is this a map that you see yourself playing if fortnite allowed uh these maps these creative maps to be shared within the community let me know in the comments and again if you want a chance to enter this map yourself leave your epic account and let me know what you think again john's social media twitter will be in the description a huge shout out to him he is he's fucking talented man this is insane i don't even know where to pose for a thumbnail here it's it just looks so good it's amazing anyways i hope you enjoyed it and as always if you did leave it a like